Yes. I've got two flags here, a short pin where we've got to hit it high and soft, a long pin. Two very different shots, two very different methods, two different clubs. The short pin, one that most club golfers find so difficult, I have a little different take on it, so I'm okay. going to get you going with that. First thing I want people to understand is what I would call stand square, aim left. Now that sounds like a contradiction, doesn't yes. it? Yes, yes it does. <laughs> stand square, aim left. I actually like people to visualize a plane. Well, you don't have to visualize this one. Because we have here. yours, yes. Uh, but I have aimed it to the left of the flagstick. Okay. Now, I'm, I've given you your most lofted club. For me, it's a 60. For you, it's a... 58. And we're going to open it as well to okay. put a bit of bounce on. So we take the most lofted club, we open the club face quite a bit, uh, and we aim the plane to the left. But if you'll just set up for me for the moment, the plane is aimed to the left, but yep. you are parallel to the plane. Yep. Now, if someone just used the target line as a reference, everything looks open, but you don't actually feel open to the, you don't feel open, do you? No, I don't, I don't. The I face square. is open. Right, correct. So that's the first bit. Stand square, aim left. Now, the second thing uh, in, in, in teaching this shot is something I found out, and I do hope that the jib can get in and really have a look at this. Whenever you open the face, you need to address the ball off the toe. Okay. Otherwise, Mr. Shank will pay you a visit. And we don't now, like he, that word. Well, here's why. If you look at this closely, if I open the club face a full 90 degrees, I would never do that, but if I did, you what have I got to hit the ball with? The hosel. Only the hosel. Yes. And I have realized every bit you open the club face, you actually have less face to hit the ball with. So I used to open the move face it back. and yep. shank him over there. So what I've learned to do, this is a Martin Hall, is if I'm going to open the face a lot, I address it way off what appears to be the toe. Because then you'll hit the face. Well, you'll get the sand under the ball and, and you're certainly not going to get the hosel. You don't right. need to get the face because actually the sand is what moves it out. So second thing would okay. be address it off the toe. Okay. Now the third thing is to get the height, it needs to be wristy. And I've got with the leading hand, the left hand, I've got what I call wall table wall. I want you to imagine we're in like a, a little room here. There's a wall on this side of us. There's a wall on this side and there's a table here. Okay. If you just put your left hand out in front of you, and perhaps the viewers could do this at home. As I go back, I want to put my left palm, my lead palm on the wall. As I come I down, I want my lead palm to wipe the milk off the table. I've okay. talked about that with the trail hand to actually uh, produce draw, but if you are wiping the milk off the table here, you're going to hit a nice high shot. And then I want you to put the palm on the wall there. So the lead palm, so important for the bunker shot. It's palm on the wall, palm on the table, palm mm -hmm. on the wall. That keeps so much loft on that club. Right. And if we put a bit of wrist action in there and do that, we've got a really good chance to just zip that club under the ball. Yeah, and you can tell by how little sand you're still taking right there. That's exactly right. So what are we doing? We're standing square. Right but aiming left. We've off opened the, the face, we've got the most lofty club because we want height, address it well off the toe, Sarah Brown, yep. Mama Brown, address it <laughs> way off the toe. Now left palm on the wall, wipe the milk off the table. Here we go. That was what is known as a little beauty, rather like yourself. <laughs> that was Thank a you. fantastic shot and no. good point. Yeah. You said, I mean, you're a player, you actually don't take that much sand Right, I see a lot of amateurs, you amateurs at home, you know you do it, They're, they dig down, Martin, like yeah, way well, down for, into for the a, sand. For a short bunker shot, total right. disaster. Right. Now let's just say that in fact we were not going to the front pin, we're going to go to the far pin. Okay. This is a lesson from Langer right here, lesson from Langer. Now, I will uh, take we certainly that. can't do what we just did, we can't be wiping the milk off the table, so we're going to hit a longer, Shot for Langer. <laughs> We're changing clubs. I've got a 56. I have a 54. You've got a 54. Now, the last shot we hit, we knocked the sand from under the golf ball. Right. This is a very different shot. The last shot we hit, we chopped his legs off. This is a very different shot. This is a shot, I call it the wave. I think of a surfer, a big wave coming in in Hawaii. A wave, I want a wave of sand to shunt the ball forwards. One is chopping the legs off. The other is moving Get the sand forward. forwards. Okay. okay, so this one, I'm going to stand square, the longer shot. I'm going to stand square with the face square. I'm going to put the ball back a bit. Hands are going to be forwards a little bit. 
and I'm going to just, as Bernhard said to me, let the right side turn through it. So it would be, there's not going yeah. to be all that much follow through. It's a bit of a dig. Uh, I'm definitely going to let the right side turn through it. And you can see that hits it out a much longer. I'd be very, very pleased with that. I'm a so pleased. Good shot. Fact, I, I declare it's a contest. I knew you were going to say it's a contest. that. <laughs> the contest is on. But you see, it's funny. I probably felt less speed in that shot than the shorter one that you hit. So, so in that, in, in, in the higher one, it was wipe the milk off the table. Right. Wall, with this table, one, wall. with this one, if you had a watch on, mm -hmm. it would be drive the nail into the wall. You could do wall. it with the front of your glove too? You could. Yeah. It'd be drive the nail. So one of them we're chopping his legs off. The other one, we're going to be driving the sand forwards. It's going out on a wave. So square and stance. And we're not opening the club face. No, yeah. square stance, barely. Yeah. Square stance, open club face. Don't need a lot of sand here. Don't need a lot of follow through. And that was really well played, little left, little but we take that. Yeah, it's out. But I like what you said, you switched clubs. And I think amateurs at home don't do that. <laughs>